um, we can lower our greenhouse uh, gas emissions uh, now as we evolve uh, into the future using um, uh, renewable. I also would like to thank um, um, David Arconti, who was the House Chair of the Energy Committee, uh, committee and uh, Senator uh, Norm Needleman for, for helping to shepherd this through. As you know, it's never one person that uh, ha does the legislation. It's a, it's a team effort, and without uh, both of them, this r really wouldn't have happened. Um, this Connecticut law, which took uh, some years to, to pass, and on a side note, uh, I like to use uh, props to remind me of things to do, so I believe it was Chris that um, gave me this bottle of biodiesel uh, some four or five years ago that I kept in my desk uh, that reminded me that we needed to, you know, to uh, keep on this and keep it passing. So I, never, I would put it out on my desk and my colleagues would say, what is that? And then I would explain it to them so that when the time came to vote on the bill, they knew what um, I was talking about. So in this first year, it was a 5% biodiesel um, uh, this past winter um, blending phase in. And uh, that eliminated the use of uh, 17 million gallons of heating oil and replaced it with this renewable uh, biodiesel. Um, this reduced uh, CO2 carbon emissions by 192,000 uh, tons of uh, CO2 and, and um, uh, carbon emissions, equivalent to removing about 38,000 uh, vehicles per year uh, off of our roads. And that's just with the 5% blend. Uh, as we go on uh, in years, the blend percentage will, will increase. Um, uh, when the law is fully implemented, um, it'll reduce CO2 emissions by close to um, uh, uh, 2 billion tons um, annually. And uh, when, when the topic of greenhouse gas emissions um, arises, sometimes I get comments from my colleagues uh, like, um, well, we get uh, power plant emissions from the Midwest. And look, uh, the, the, the Canadian wildfires uh, wildfires are uh, reducing our air quality uh, just like um, today. Why are we even bothering doing this? And my answer is because we need to uh, we need to clean our house first. We need to concentrate on lowering our greenhouse gas emissions generated in the state of, of Connecticut, specifically for Fairfield County, before we can ask for the EPA to help us in um, uh, getting the uh, power plants in the Midwest to reduce uh, their emissions. Um, uh, speaking of the EPA is probably, if they haven't already, uh, imminent uh, in uh, making biodiesel um, um, blending decisions uh, for the next couple of years uh, uh, going forward. So, um, and lastly, going forward for, for the state of Connecticut, I'm hopeful in that we can start to generate uh, talks with um, specifically the Greater Bridgeport Transit to try to see about um, blending uh, biodiesel in with uh, with transportation um, going forward. Um, just a regular old uh, vehicle fuel blend would be also the next step as the refining process continues to uh, to improve. And uh, lastly, I would look for maybe a, a thermal renewable energy credit uh, um, bill for next session. So that's about it for me. Thank you everybody for, for helping out.